Good morning. Welcome back to Cannabis with Kim. I have some projects today, <laughs> as you can see them lined up in front of us. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to get my butt in gear and just start taking <laughs> videos of everything I do because I am, I'm pretty much working on something or dosing something every day somehow, of course. Now, the majority of the time I do my, you know, so we've got decarbed flour, right? I break it down to shake. You know, I have a million videos on this stuff. Okay, not a million, but I'm exaggerating. So, you know, I like shake ground down really fine because it makes it really easy to camouflage in food and eat. And remember, even when you infuse, you're going to have some level of loss when you strain, okay? So, in other words, eat your wheat. <laughs> just put it into food. So that's what I'm always doing is I'm always experimenting with which food take the, the flavor and take the, um, <clears throat> you know, just can take it <laughs> and you're not just tasting, you know, just full weed. Now, I mean, I know some people don't mind it, but you know, a lot of people, we, we just, you know, especially me, sometimes I'm just like, come on, I just want to get my medicine in and I don't want to choke down a weed brownie that I can really taste. So here's what I got. I got some uh, trim from the recent grow. Remember I showed the other video of some of, and here's, what's this one? Ghost train. So this is, <laughs> gives a, a whole new meaning to homegrown, doesn't it? For those of you that are old timers like me, homegrown didn't used to look like this, kids. So anyway, uh, I've got, uh, I'm going to be decarbing some of this. And, but anyway, here's the hack. I have a pumpkin pie that's just basic, cooked, whatever. Now, <clears throat> again, and this is more just uh, decarbed flour okay shake of course because that's how i like to do it so it looks like this it's this one's a, an indica but of course this one right here is a sativa so you can dose with whatever you need to for whatever time of the day okay so i decarb uh daytime uh, flour slash shake and I decarb nighttime so indica and then I also do hybrids because you know all day long right so this is not cooked with any type of cannabis product this is just a basic pumpkin pie okay how do you dose it just sprinkle it on Okay, and that's it, and you're dosed because activated decarbed flour slash shake is already ready to intake, eat, infuse, or smoke. Because remember, when you smoke decarbed weed, you are hitting different cannabinoids that you wouldn't normally get from fresh flour because your combustion rate too high. So that's all you need to do is sprinkle it. Sprinkle it right on. Or if you want, you know, get in there, lift up the, you know, top, squish it in the middle, hide it, throw that whipped cream on top. Good stuff, okay? You got yourself a nice dosed pumpkin pie. You want it for breakfast? Excellent. Throw in your sativa or your hybrid. Or if you're an indica all day, then all day, all way. Go ahead, indica it up. So, Next, what do I do with my sativa? Well, <clears throat> this sativa is infused in ghee. Ooh, ooh. So, of course, I went in the Ardent. I decarb just like this. Then on top of it, I put the ghee and then I infuse it. So this ghee is fully infused, but I'm going to use the flour as well, which is shake. So it's ground down really well. Then I also decarbed a little bit. I threw some of this, but this is decarbed concentrate. And this is Durbin. Woohoo! So this is my daytime as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in here as well. And then I saved some um, 
strained flour that I use for my breakfast coconut oil that I put in my coffee. So I'm not letting this flour go to waste. I am going to put it in here because it still has cannabinoids. So don't let it go to waste. I did that for a long time. I threw away oh so many milligrams. I will not admit it out loud. Okay, so anyway, uh, pound cake. Now, normally, I love me some lemon pound cake. So, I didn't put them out, but I've got lemons. So, instead of all water, I am going to also include lemon juice. Because remember, and then, of course, I'm going to do uh, lemon um, peel because that of course, has terpenes in it, the limonene. So that is, again, another, the terpenes go really well together with our sativa, especially my Durban. And I think this one is, come on, Kim, it's lemon skunk, something like that. So I'm dealing with, you know, obviously. So lemon, great terpenes. So I'm gonna put it in there. And then of course, instead of butter or margarine, I'm gonna be using yeast. Now, what's ghee again? Remember, guys, ghee is... Hold up, hold up. Let's get the ghee, get the ghee, get the ghee. Oh, look at it. It's got a ring on it from the <laughs> last dosed one. It is clarified butter, okay? And I get the organic clarified butter, grass-fed. Um, so it's, it's just, you know, obviously it's better for your body than butter because there's no milk fat in it, okay? It's paleo-friendly, keto-friendly, all that good stuff. So anyway, that's uh, what I'm using in here instead of butter. It also lasts longer because uh, butter can go rancid from the, uh, milk, fat, the milk fat. I'm like, my, 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 my mouth isn't working. But anyway, so that's how I'm going to make this one. I'm going to turn it into lemon pound cake. And I've done the lemon pound cakes before with sativa and it holds it really well and it's delicious. And I've got these crossed at Aldi, I'm not going to lie, and they're delish. So I throw some of the pound cake in there and bake them and oh, it's just a little treat in the morning. All right. So then moving on to my indicas. Again, I know I've done other um, videos on this, but <clears throat> I feel like. Indicas are best masked by chocolate, chocolate. So again, hello Aldi, my friend. 89 cents for the chewy fudge brownie mix. Come on, 89 cents for this edible, right? So this, this, this pack of edibles, which would, let's just do some really fun, quick math. Okay, so let's say these have, mm, I'm going to say approximately, we'll just do it for easy sake, 1,200 milligrams, right? I make 12 brownies. They're 100 milligrams each, right? How much did 12 brownies at 100 milligrams each cost me to make? $55. And then if you, of course, grow way less, well, you got to figure out your grow costs. But anyway, so yeah, uh, way cheaper than the edibles at the uh, dispensary. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I flipped the camera. I was so excited. <laughs> anyway, so with these also, because I do again, I, this is when I stack all my extra flour when I make my edibles. So I make a lot of oils and I'm going to show you that in another video, but I've been put, putting them along the side in a big um, container along the side of the cooking. And then this way I just have my dosed <clears throat> oils right there and I can make anything I want dosed right there. But anyway, so I have been having a lot of, you know, leftover flour. And so, boom, I throw them in here because it really masks the flour well, especially if it's well ground. Um, but I can still have flavor included sometimes, which I don't want. So I throw one of these little puppies right down the center. These are, you know, like, again, the generic ones from, oh, I know you guessed it, Aldi. <laughs> but they're great. They're delicious. Who knows that it's not the special racist name. So anyway, this is great for Indicas. This is a great way to mask it. And um, again, throw lots and lots of flour in because it can take it. And then, you know, makes them a little bit more potent than 100 each, but you know. Okay, last one of the project. That's right. Strawberry Starbursts, baby. So 
And here, I took off all the wrappers. There's 40 of them, because I'm doing the math. And so I'm gonna have to heat these. And instead of dealing with coconut oil and trying to blend that, I just grab me some RSO. So this is some Galactic Jack. So again, this is a daytime. I'm looking for more daytime options that aren't so sh so loaded. Like, so I don't have to eat an entire pound cake, <laughs> although, you know, twist my arm with some dosed coffee in the morning. Boom! That's a way to start your day. I'll tell you that right now. But what about a quick fix when you're out and about? Ah, how about a strawberry starburst? And this, I love, again, using it, let's see, with my greasy fingers, if I didn't wipe off the total uh, THC content. So when you look at the milligrams, dun, 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 let's look at our total milligrams. Okay, 79.0, oh, hold eyes, I apologize, 79.06, 79.06. So that means we have... 790 milligrams in this syringe, okay? So that means that these are gonna dose up and it's gonna be 790 milligrams in here. But remember, you gotta consider some loss. So I'll do that math and um, hopefully, I'll be able to like, cause you know, when you melt these, that's why I've been putting off this project. When you melt these and then you combine them, then you've got to like get it all off the sides cause there's a lot of loss. Then I got to spread them out and recut them. So this is going to be a project. I will let you know how that works out. But this is my first time attempting it and I feel like the RSO is going to be the easiest way to go. Plus the easiest way to figure out dosage as well. All right, so that's it my friends. Oh, and I might just throw in a little bit of banana into the a couple brownies too, just for fun. You never know. It's craziness around here. So happy dosing.